Good morning. Thanks for watching our update this morning. Uh, this video is being recorded on Wednesday for the following Tuesday. So like many of you, I stayed awake late last night watching the election play out as it did throughout the night. Then I was awake extremely early and after not being able to fall back to sleep, decided to go into the office quite early. Uh, my morning Bible reading this morning was a great reminder for this week. Uh, here in Isaiah, we find King Hezekiah and God's people really facing an uphill battle for their country, uh, for their freedom, for their ability to worship the Lord and spread his glory, and even for their very lives. In their case, an enemy nation had come in that had had some impressive victories as of recent. It was rich, it was powerful, and they outnumbered the people of God. The enemy sent a letter, really an ultimatum, and gave it to the king and his people to surrender. However, instead of buckling, Hezekiah knew what to do with that letter. He took it, went to God's house, and he spread it before the Lord. Isaiah 37, 14 says, And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed unto the Lord. I'd encourage you to read King Hezekiah's prayer in its entirety from this chapter, as I believe it will help our perspective and even our prayers. What do we find in Hezekiah's prayer that is applicable to us today? First, Hezekiah realized, recognized that God can see, hear, and know what's going on today. And isn't it reassuring that even in 2020, I know they say COVID happens, 2020 happens, that God's very aware of everything, everything that's going on. Uncertainty might be everywhere, but God sees, hears, and he knows. Secondly, King Hezekiah realized that God alone rules in the kingdoms of men. Kings, presidents, prime ministers, and nations come and go. Their tenure is very temporary for even a lifetime appointment. But God remains constant and in control of the events here below. And he's going to work out his plan for our nation and all nations uh, through those events. Uh, we do our best to align ourselves, our lives, and our church with an eternal God and an eternal kingdom of which we are really citizens. Thirdly, Hezekiah was real about the gravity of the situation. Uh, it's true. He said, they have power. It's true. They have the upper hand right now. But Lord, this is the situation. I need your help, is what he said. I'm reminded more than ever that we need God's help. We need his favor if we're going to make the impact that we need to in our country. We need God's help if we're going to reach our state, our city, our country, and our world with the gospel of Christ. And then finally, he prayed and he asked the Lord for victory, and he saw the victory. Now, in his case, his victory was gauged in a physical manner. But victory for us is gauged in a spiritual manner. And so what does victory for us look like? How about souls saved? How about reaching and teaching and passing the faith to the next generation? How about discipling men and ladies for the Lord and building Christ's kingdom here on this earth? I hope these simple thoughts from Hezekiah's prayer and perspective will help us as we seek to go forward for the Lord even today. God bless and have a good week.